And so in saying every single young man should take testosterone because they're going to look and feel better would be like saying every young woman should get breast implants and a BBL because they're going to look and feel better. No, they're not. Not all of them are. Coach Greg, and in today's video, should every young man be given a prescription for testosterone? And so you're probably thinking, of course not. This makes no sense. But John Skywalker made a post on Instagram with over a thousand comments of which he states, I definitely think the average young man these days should be on a low dose of testosterone prescribed by a doctor, of course. If you're worried about your health, low dose levels probably cause more problems than high test. Do you really think they'd prescribe seniors and transitioning females with testosterone if it had a significant negative impact on health? Now, what's your excuse? I'll answer some of your questions in the comments. Now, remember, he's not saying that you should be all on steroid cycles. He's saying medically prescribed testosterone from a doctor, otherwise known as HRT. And so let's start off by thinking of some of the benefits of taking HRT. Lower levels of depression, improved sleep, less brain fog, more energy, increased lean body mass, which leads to a raised metabolism as well as lower body fat percentages. And so, of course, HRT can be very beneficial, but should everyone be doing it? Is it in fact dangerous? And so I'm sure many of you are skeptical saying, why would you ever take testosterone? That is a hormone. Why would anyone inject hormones into their body? Well, consider the fact that females are given birth control as teenagers. Those are also hormones. Birth control arguably can have more negative side effects than taking testosterone, but yet doctors give it out freely. And if you look at the various studies compiled on birth control, of which I've done on in the past, you will see there are distinct disadvantage in terms of your athletic ability if you're in fact on birth control. And so John Skywalker points out that it's not all that dangerous. If it was, doctors wouldn't prescribe it. And so he has a point. When I went to my endocrinologist, an expert in hormones, he stated, I feel there are more benefits to prescribing you HRT than there are of not prescribing it. Your testosterone levels are low and having low testosterone levels are more dangerous than if I were to prescribe you testosterone. And so he put me on a low dose of testosterone testosterone 100 milligrams every seven days, which has more recently been switched to 100 milligrams every five days. And so at least for me, it's safer for me to use HRT than to not use HRT. But what about world famous anti-aging guy, Brian Johnson, who's 45 years of age? He wants to live forever or at least longer than last time. And so he's doing everything in his power to live as long as humanly possible. And so is he on HRT? After all, if HRT is dangerous and will short your life, he most surely would not be taking it. What would your testosterone be at without the supplementation? Have you got any idea? Because you're walking around at 5% body fat. We hover around 800. And remember, he did this body fat assessment through the use of an MRI. He had once been as low as 3.1%. And so the guy is shredded, as lean as a competitive bodybuilder on stage, and he does this year round. And we all know when you have lower body fat percentages and you're not eating enough to fuel your body, your testosterone is going to go down. We hover around normal, uh, but that's with, um, I think it's nine, units a day of testosterone. And so to make up for this, Brian Johnson literally is on nine units of testosterone a day. He's doing it every single day to keep the most stable blood levels possible. And so that makes a total of 63 units of testosterone a week. That allows him to have 800 nanograms per deciliter. That's not bad. That's quite literally higher than my testosterone. I've never heard of yes. that being a delivery mechanism for testosterone before. Is that common? Uh, it works. Yeah, so I, I mean, it keeps my levels steady. It's a dermal patch. And so the reason he's eating such a low calorie diet and keeping low body fat percentage is that has a correlation between how long you live. Bigger bodies with more body fat, and even if you have more muscle, on average, they tend to not live as long. Just think of it. How many guys over six feet tall, 300 plus pounds are living into their 80s? The world's strongest men, power lifters, guys with tons of body weight, even if it's muscle, they don't tend to live as long of a life. And so if you're a young male and you're trying to keep a very low body fat percentage, you most likely are not going to have ideal levels of testosterone. And so by supplementing with HRT, this could increase your testosterone levels to perhaps the same as Brian Johnson's to 800. 
And perhaps that would allow you to live a longer and healthier life. And if you don't use HRT and you're striving to maintain single digit body fat or 5% in Brian's case, imagine the lack of energy you're going to have. You're going to feel like dog shit, which is why I preach to have a healthy body fat percentage, one that you can maintain year round. Perhaps it's 15%, perhaps for some a little bit more, others a little bit less. The average young man probably produces enough tests to be healthy though. And so that's a very good point. Why would we give every single young man testosterone when some of them already have very high testosterone levels? Think of it. If you already have a thousand nanograms per deciliter, why would you be giving them testosterone? On the other hand, if you only have 250, then perhaps you would benefit. And so in saying every single young man should take testosterone because they're going to look and feel better would be like saying every young woman should get breast implants and a BBL because they're going to look and feel better. No, they're not. Not all of them are. And although the benefits of me taking testosterone outweigh the risks, it's not the same for everyone. No two people are alike. Some people will benefit from testosterone, but others could have negative side effects. Not everyone who takes HRT is going to experience positive results. And depending on your own individual genetics, some people are prone to more problems than others. When you take testosterone, oftentimes your HDL, the good cholesterol, it goes down. Perhaps your LDL goes up. And if you're susceptible to major changes in cholesterol from taking testosterone, then this could predispose you to getting a heart attack. It's not good. We don't want it. Male suicide rates have skyrocketed over the past few generations. Why? Mental health issues, depression, lack of purpose, all due to low test levels. Remember, Correlation does not imply causation. It may be true that overall testosterone levels are going down for males, but that may not in fact be the cause. It could be caused from something else. For example, that time in our lives when you couldn't go outside, when you had to suffer in silence. There were very strict rules. You had to wear a Halloween mask all the time when you went out. Imagine the strain on people's relationships, the feelings people had. And so is it smarter to just put on the Band-Aid fix, give everyone testosterone? Would that actually be the solution? Or should we perhaps talk more about what's causing people to feel depressed? Perhaps they're spending too much time on social media. They're swiping left and right, going through Instagram, and they feel inferior to the bodies that are being presented. And so it may in fact be more important to talk about this socially with our friends than simply giving more drugs, which seems to be the way physicians deal with things in 2023. Fertility reduction, hair loss, blood thickness, gynecomastia, fatigue, and low energy, water retention, more emotional, low mood and anxiety, spots and acne, higher risk for cholesterol disease and prostate cancer. What a great answer. And so if you do in fact take HRT, those are some possible side effects that you might in fact get. John's response, bro, you're talking about bodybuilding cycles, not testosterone therapy. And unfortunately, that can happen with testosterone therapy alone. I've coached hundreds of people through phone calls and in person or online, people taking HRT, and I can tell you that many of these side effects are experienced by people even on low levels of testosterone. For example, 150 milligrams a week. Many people are experiencing negative side effects. And so if you feel good already, you have plenty of energy, you probably already have good testosterone levels, then why would you add in extra hormones in the first place? But to the opposite extent, if you are in fact suffering, you have low mood, low energy, perhaps you have very low testosterone levels and you can't seem to resolve this problem, then of course, go and see your doctor. Get them to go over your blood work, analyze your situation and see, could you be of benefit? And remember, HRT, it's not a short-term fix. If you start that at a young age, for example, 20, you may in fact have to use that for the rest of your life. It's not some antibiotic or some prescription that you can take for a few months and simply go off. Going off of HRT can have serious consequences and you need to know what you're doing. And so my advice, don't resort to taking HRT unless, of course, you go to your doctor and your doctor says, this is something that I believe that you need more than you don't. Your doctor should not be prescribing you anything that they feel will do you more harm than good. And so if your doctor prescribes you testosterone, he must have have a valid reason to do so. Perhaps when you get older, you may in fact need HRT. Brian Johnson, 45 years of age, that's pretty old. He, remember, he's on a very low dose, nine milligrams a day, that totals 63 total milligrams per week, and he's maintaining 800 nanograms per deciliter while getting blood work taken all the time. And all of his markers have shown to be excellent. The guy gets perfect sleep, the perfect diet. He does everything perfectly every single day. But do you? 
Do you have a medical team that you're spending millions of dollars on to monitor you? If you do, then go for it. If your medical team, your staff of doctors are telling you exactly what to do to live the longest and healthiest life possible, then by all means, go for it. But if you're just some regular guy watching this video, don't think, wow, John Walker said we should all go on HRT, so I'm going on HRT. Let me know in the comments section, do you agree with this? Should guys be taking HRT? Should they not? What age is proper? And if you are experiencing low testosterone levels and you tried everything, including switching up your diet, reducing stress, getting in sleep, then look no further than G-Test. Even Jeff Cavalier believes that test boosters, the new ones, for example, Tom Cataly, Fadoja Gressis, perhaps Ashwagandha. My opinion has definitely changed here. I feel that new research has evolved that's introduced new compounds that do a safer job of giving you some benefits. He spoke to Andrew Huberman who stated that these can dramatically improve your testosterone levels and so interested in G-Test or even three tests, click the link in the description, use code GREG, 10% off. Subscribe, click the bell button, comment to boost the algorithm and don't forget to watch one of those two bloops and of course, Cookbook 3.0 is out. Please head over to the website as well as the cookbooks, the training books, the coaching plans by me and my team, the circle die book, my life's work, how to lose weight, keep it off for the rest of your life, as well as the HCLT clothing line, all kinds of clothes, head over to the website. And until next time, I am out.